Sometimes football players break the rules. These are 15 times football players got caught cheating. And Mbappe thought he could get away with some clear time wasting against Belgium. But the ref just wasn't having it. But this goalkeeper cheated to save a goal because man dropped a wonder tackle, but then he got caught out of his post. A quick throw in and it was a sure goal, but the goalie was playing 4D chess and oh, threw shit. out a second ball onto the pitch, meaning the ref had to stop play. Clever from the goalie, unlike Ronaldo who cheated so bad he got a whole country to hate him. You see, in the 2006 World Cup, Portugal came up against England in the quarterfinal. Ronaldo and Rudy were the stars for each country, but were teammates at Man United. The English fans loved Ronaldo as he was quickly becoming one of the best players in the Premier League, but this love was soon lost when Rooney accidentally stepped on Carvalho's <laughs> crown jewels. The referee wasn't going to send Rooney off for a clear accident, but Ronaldo went screaming to the ref and got him to change his decision. The hate for Ronaldo grew stronger when he dropped a wink, showing he deliberately got his Man United teammates sent off. But Ronaldo got his karma because this football fan cheated to stop Ronaldo from begging a Champions League final goal. Damn, Ronaldo was pissed. But now I gotta tell you about one of the most insane cheating moments of all time that meant this goalkeeper got banned for life. On September 3, 1989, Brazil faced off against Chile in a match that would decide which nation got to play in the World Cup. The stadium was packed with 141,000 spectators, and within the first half, Chile found themselves in the lead one goal to nothing. Roberto Rojas, the Chilean goalkeeper, was having a fine game when suddenly a flare was thrown on the pitch right next to the goalie. The medics rushed to see if he was okay, found him bleeding and rushed him off the pitch. The Chilean team claimed that the Brazilian fans were the one who threw this flare, but this wasn't picked up on camera. If the Brazilian fans were found to have thrown the flare, then Brazil would have been disqualified and Chile would have been sent to the World Cup, but it turned out that one photographer was able to capture the incident, and once the photos were developed, we could see the flare was nowhere close to Rojas. It couldn't have hit him. The Chilean goalkeeper later admitted that he was so desperate to qualify for the World Cup that he hit a razor blade in his gloves and cut himself to cause the bleeding. This meant that Chile were disqualified from the World Cup and Rojas was given a lifetime ban from football. Man could have really won an Oscar for that, just like Morata who put in the theatrical performance of the year. He took a shot and fell to the floor in agony. The pain was so unbearable and he just couldn't get up until he realized that his shot had actually gone in. Great performance, Murata. DiCaprio would be proud of that one. Lying about an injury happens quite often, but lying about a player's age just to break a record? That's unusual. But that's exactly what happened with Yusufa Mukoko, who broke Bundesliga records by becoming the youngest debutante and score at just 18 years old. But Mukoko is actually 22 years old. After some confusing adoption papers and a falsified birth certificate, he had led the Bundesliga to believe he was actually 18. But this team cheated by sending spies? In 2019, Leeds manager Marcelo Bielsa was facing Derby County in the championship. A couple days before the game, there was a mysterious man spotted outside Derby's training ground. When this man was confronted, it was found out that he was a spy sent by Marcelo Bielsa. When this was brought to the public's attention, Bielsa admitted that he had been doing this for years and had been sending spies to his opponents before every game. He claimed that it was acceptable in South America where he came from, but in England? This was just blatant cheating. And speaking about blatant cheating, John Terry cheated on his own wife with the wife of his teammate. Sounds crazy, and it is. In 2010, John Terry was caught cheating on his wife, Tony Terry, whom he married only three years earlier. But this wasn't your normal cheating scandal. The woman that Terry was banging was a French actor named Vanessa, and Vanessa was the former partner of his Chelsea and England teammate, Wayne Bridge. Vanessa and Bridge had kids together and had only just split up a couple months before this all started. When Terry got caught, all hell broke loose. 
Bridge left Chelsea for Man City and retired from the England national team because he refused to play alongside the man who banged the mother of his children. When Terry and Bridge would face off in a match a couple months later, Bridge refused to shake his hand and I can't blame him. He took everything from him. Terry, on the other hand, who had kids of his own, managed to keep his relationship alive and is still with his wife today whilst also achieving a long and successful career for both both Chelsea and England. Bridge says that the saddest part of it all is that he's not remembered for the playing career he had, but for being the man who fell victim to such a cruel betrayal. But now you have to hear about one of the wildest moments of cheating to ever happen in football. When Leeds faced off against Aston Villa, the game was at a stalemate. Neither side could bag a goal to put their team in front until an Aston Villa player went down injured. The Leeds player signaled that he would kick the ball out as a sign of fair play, but that was just a move to get the Villa players to relax. And then this happened. Leeds coming forward with Click. Well, Villa put the ball out to the other end, but Leeds will come forward. Click into the penalty area, and he scored for Leeds. It turned into a brawl. Pushes, shoves, red cards. This was such dirty play that even the Leeds manager couldn't believe it. He ordered his team to give Villa a free goal, but one Leeds player wasn't having it and tried to stop the attacker, although that was for nothing as Villa still got the goal. Man, that was a game full of dirty play, but no moment was worse than what Maradona did to England in 1986. He cheated so badly that he broke the hearts of an entire country. In the 86 World Cup, Maradona broke English hearts when his Argentina team sent them home from the World Cup in a 2-1 victory. The real heartbreak came when the English fans took a closer look at the first goal. Maradona completely cheated using his hand to hit the ball in. That really was one of the greatest goals in volleyball history. But now I have to tell you about how one of the greatest comebacks in football history was actually just a cheated victory. The famous Barcelona versus PSG game, a thriller match where Barcelona came from four goals down in the first leg to win the second leg six goals to one. But when you really break down the match, the Barcelona players cheated time and time again and just kept getting away with it. A handball for Mascarano in the box not given and then a clear foul in the box for Mascarano again but still nothing given. And to top it all off, Luis Suarez put his diving gear on and threw himself to the floor, winning Barcelona a crucial penalty that led to the downfall of PSG. Sometimes it looks like the referees might just be getting paid by the Spanish club. But imagine paying a whole team. Well, this is what is rumored to have happened in 1984. Spain had a poor qualifying campaign for the Euros, and with one qualifier game left, they weren't looking like they were going to make it to the European Championships. The last game was against Malta, and they needed to win by 11 goals to qualify. This was impossible. Malta had never lost by 11 goals in their nation's history. After the first half was played, Spain led three goals to one, meaning they would have to score eight goals and not concede in 45 minutes to qualify. This was impossible, but when the two nations came out from the halftime dressing room, everything changed. That just couldn't be real. Nobody really knows what went on in these dressing rooms at halftime, but many believe that Malta was paid to let in the eight goals, whilst the Maltese claimed that they were given fruit that had gone bad, making them feel sick, whilst they also claimed that the Spanish were using performance-enhancing drugs, as one Maltese player says he saw the Spanish players foaming at the mouth. What happened in those second 45 minutes will remain a mystery, but what is for sure is that there was some shady play going on. But a player that we know for sure has cheated is Sergio Ramos, whose cheating completely backfired, leaving Real Madrid helpless. Real Madrid traveled away to Ajax in the Champions League and, come the 90th minute, they found themselves leading two goals to one. Sergio Ramos was in a situation where, if he received a yellow card, he would be banned from the next match. 
After Real Madrid sealed the victory, he decided he would rather miss the second leg of this Ajax match than potentially miss a more important game later in the tournament, so he got a deliberate yellow card, meaning he would miss the return fixture. When the second leg came around, Ajax meant business. A dominant display saw them put four goals past Madrid, and all Ramos could do is watch from the stands as his tactical cheating move seemingly backfired. I guess karma really does exist. But now for the craziest cheating story you will see, this World Cup winner got banned from football for accidentally cheating. Paul Pogba was the best midfielder in the world at a time, and now he has just been slapped with a four-year ban from football. How did this happen? After a 3-0 victory for Juventus, Pogba was called in for a random doping test, a pretty standard procedure for pro footballers. But this wasn't a standard result. Pogba tested positive for increased levels of testosterone, which is linked with increased performance and endurance. This is obviously illegal in football and means Pogba is facing a four-year ban from the game. Paul and his agent have come out to say that no substance was deliberately taken and that he wishes to return to football, although this looks unlikely as football has very strict laws on doping in order to keep the game as fair as possible. Man, Pogba really fell off, but this started way before the doping incident. Did you know that Pogba's brother held him at gunpoint demanding millions of pounds? Or that Pogba was seeing a witch doctor to try to put a curse on Kylian Mbappe? If you want to hear more about that, you have to see this video about the football players who fell off the top of their game.